My name is Todd, and I'm pit master with All About the Q, uh, competition barbecue team and caterer. What we have here is half of a pork belly that we just pulled off the smoker. Uh, recently, we taught a class for the California Barbecue Association teaching how to cook a pork belly. Uh, I'll, I have the recipe posted up on our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash it's all about the Q. I'll post the link in the notes uh, or in the comment sections uh, on this video here. That way you can get to it and find how we the recipe for we cooked it. Generally, we prepped it just like a pork butt. Uh, used about the same injection and same same rub as you would a pork butt. Uh, this is a thinner cut of meat, though. A little care has to be taken in, co in cooking it. This particular pork belly is a skin-on one. Uh, we felt that uh, doing skin on helped retain a little bit of the, the fat content in there, give you a little bit more moisture product when you're done. Uh, when, we, when we prep them, basically, we just want to pull the back of that skin off. Get down, you see all that fat content in here. One of the easiest ways to get into that, get that off, is take your knife. Kind of reminds you of chicken scraping. You're just scraping all that fat off. You get down to that layer of meat. You'll find a pork belly has a couple different layers of fat and meat on it. We want to try to separate everything the best we can. Leave a little fat in there for your flavor, as we all know fat is flavor. See, it pretty much just peels off of there. You might have to trim a little when you get to the end of the grain. Keep from tearing up the grain and losing some meat or losing some bark. This stuff just comes off almost like butter. Cut most of the fat off of that grain. Occasionally you'll find grains running like two different directions in a belly. It's okay, we'll get to it. Just remember scrape with the grain. You start going across and you'll start tearing your meat, getting it mixed in with your fat. And just tear into it here. What you're looking for is this string of meat right here. See if we can separate that little skin from it. It's kind of like silver skin you find on the front. Just that nice white grain of meat right there. It's going to be moist, it's going to be tender, it's going to be full of flavor. Kind of stripped off. You notice there's a layer of fat under it. You too. Get your knife out. Once again, you're going with the grain. Scrape some of that fat off. Now you got your juicy piece of grain. Pull part real tender. This is excellent for making pulled pork ta tacos. Uh, do nachos with it. I think it'd be good in tamales. Make us pulled pork tamales. Here's that fat separating the next layer. We go ahead and finish this first layer off. That's some of the best meat off the hog you will get. Belly is the portion where American pork bacon comes from. So you understand why we like to cook it up, serve it up. Because it is the most tender, juicy, succulent part of the pork. Unfortunately, you can't turn it in in a KCBS competition because the rule states you must cook butt or whole shoulder. This would be an excellent turn in if it were legal. Got a nice strip there. A little bark and fat on it. It's not going to hurt. Strip it out. Is it too long for you? Now you get a bite size piece. Check through here real careful. Because you will find little hidden morsels. There's going to be a nice one with some really nice bark on it. Hit this one with a little bit of uh, pecan and almond smoke. Gave us nice flavor and uh, color off of it. Took about six hours to cook up. Cooked it for about two on the grate. Then fold it. Normally, when you're thinking pork butt or, or other meat products, when you foil it, you typically add a little apple juice to it. You 
can do that to pork belly. We'll have to put a little sweetness in there. If you're worried about moisture content, don't. It's got enough natural fat, natural juices, that it won't dry out on you typically. Pork bellies are usually sold whole. You need to find them usually at a butcher shop. Uh, out here in Southern California, I get mine at Restaurant Depot. I buy them skin on by the case. Uh, it's the only way Restaurant Depot sells them skin on. Say I prefer skin on. Number one, you don't have to worry about trimming the skin off. Number two, the skin helps retain the natural fat. And it will protect the bottom of that meat from the heat. Keep you from burning. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Uh, once again, either on our Facebook page uh, or through here on YouTube. This is uh, ends up there on YouTube. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Now we're getting to my favorite part. You get a little bit more pink meat. And this is where you're going to be close to the bark. I swear at the class we uh, did yesterday. If I would have offered the fat to the students, the fat would have been consumed also. They all would have ate it. It's that good. There you go, some strips. Nice meat, nice bark. Very little fat after we scraped it. This one turned out to be a nice belly. You want to try something different that's not a big challenge? Take your, get your pork belly and smoke it up. You will be in for a treat. That's a little bit of this fat off. We can wind it up here. Fastest peel and away from that meat. Have a couple of hangers. Most of it's gone. And that, my friends, is how to process a pork belly. I hope you try one and enjoy the results.